Well, it was a hot day today, but the extreme heat and humidity will return tomorrow. Chief Meteorologist Kate Bilo is back with your next weather alerts. Another alert day, another go. heat wave, and this one is going to rival the worst of what we felt last time. If you remember, a couple of Sundays ago, got to 99 degrees, a new record. We are going to make a run for a record tomorrow as well, and because of the heat, a next weather alert day tomorrow and again on Friday. So let's go ahead and take a look at just how it feels outside tonight. It's still hot out there tonight, but it's tomorrow that the worst of the heat really begins to take shape. Right now, it's 82 in Philadelphia, it's 80 degrees in Wilmington, 79 in Lancaster. It's warm and it's starting to turn more humid. But tomorrow and Friday, that's when the humidity really ramps up. So tomorrow is going to be six, seven degrees hotter than today. The dew point is going to be six or seven degrees higher. That means the humidity is so much worse. So we're going to make a run at a record. Highs in the upper 90s, but it will feel like the triple digits tomorrow afternoon. Then a slow moving front begins its slog through the region on Friday. That will churn up some thunderstorms. Looks like a low risk for severe storms, but a high risk for heavy downpours. So heavy rain is going to be the biggest threat with these storms on Friday and a few more scattered storm chances on Saturday. Storm scan three shows this front starting to move in from the west. You can see clouds and showers staying away for now. There's actually one boundary that'll come through tomorrow afternoon with a few scattered showers and storms. Better chance comes on Friday, more widespread thunderstorm activity on Friday. For now, it is dry. Tonight's low is a warm, and relatively comfortable 72, mainly clear winds are out of the south, so that south wind is what's drawing up the heat and humidity directly from the Gulf Coast, directly from the deep south, and we are going to be feeling it tomorrow. Today was a hot summer day. Tomorrow is a dangerously hot day when you want to spend as much time in the air conditioning as possible. Stay cool, check on people you know that may need some help, stay hydrated the whole nine yards, try to get out early in the morning or late in the afternoon, late in the evening, I should say. Mid afternoon is the worst. Three to 6 p.m. probably is when it will feel like 103 to 104 and you can see how quickly it ramps up even by 10 a.m. it feels like 94 degrees outside 104 is what it feels like at 3 p.m. 102 is what it feels like at 6 o'clock. As far as storm chances are concerned, again, tomorrow they'll be mainly clustered to the south. That could drop the temperature slightly as the storms come through, but they're gonna, it's going to ramp back up pretty quickly anyway. Probably going to keep the heat a little bit less down through South Jersey and Delaware. That's why the heat advisory not in effect for those areas. Here's the front on Friday with scattered showers and storms, but they're slow movers and they're heavy rainers, so they are going to produce the risk for some possible flash flooding. That's the biggest threat with any of these storms on Friday. Now with more clouds and a few scattered showers Saturday, that should keep us sub 90. That would be the end of the heat wave. If we do get to 90 on Saturday, though, you can see it's going to last right into next week. 90 Sunday, Monday, we're close on Tuesday, possibly a little more comfort headed our way by the middle of next week. But it's going to be a little bit of a wait. You keep back Indeed. over to you. Okay, Kate, thank you.